Stakeholders from Borno, Adama and Yobe states recently convened in Meduguri, the Borno state capital, for a, high, for a risk and hazard contingency planning workshop. The workshop aims to develop a comprehensive response and preparation in anticipation of potential floods in the region. Trust TV's Beatrice Kurusi has more. During the floods of 2022, more than 600 died, while 4.4 million people were affected with houses submerged and properties destroyed. It is predicted that 31 states will experience floods and heavy rainfalls with Borno, Adamawa and Yobe states named among states that will be affected. The waters may cause disease outbreaks such as malaria, cholera, among others. It is against this backdrop that UNICEF and its partners across the Bay State agreed to develop an action plan to avert the expected risks in communities prone to flood in the Northeast. Uh, we know that uh, in uh, the Bay State um, there are major risks uh, uh, in various communities um, related uh, to what I was uh, referring to uh, such as uh, uh, flooding uh, or outbreaks and so uh, we want to through this uh, we want to have a community we would like to support the government in have a communities better prepared and in the long run eventually more resilience to shocks uh, if you have noticed the state governments have been desilting their drainages they have been uh, making up uh, the, the various outfalls in the various locations that have experienced these floodings to make sure that the outfalls are in good condition and they have also been uh, with us in sensitizing the various uh, traditional rulers and religious uh, leaders because we can't do it all. There are locations that are on the main roads and there are some locations that are hidden. Uh, we tell them the dangers of uh, putting waste in most of these drainages. The contingency plan after being drafted will be integrated with the national contingency plans for stakeholders to be on the same page when the disaster happens so that communities won't be adversely affected. Betro Skuruti, Trust TV News, Maiduguri.